Good morning, my name is Carl Barnhorst and welcome to the second episode of my vlog. Um, today I'm going to start with my puppet. I am first going to sculpt the, the foam that I've layered on and I'm going to also do the bottom layer, uh, the bottom jaw. Um, so simply cutting out the foam, putting it on the plastic uh, mouthpiece or mouth plate. Um, and if there's time, I am going to start with the um, pattern um, for the, the material that will be covering my puppet. So I've just done the sculpting of my puppet and I've done the button, bottom jaw and I've sculpted it. So this is what it's looking right at the moment, right now. So I've put in a bit of tape, duct tape in here. This is definitely um, not permanent, this is temporary just to keep my jaw open for while I'm making the um, the template. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this as demonstration. I'm just going to take my material and put it over my puppet and I'm going to try and keep it as flat to the puppet as possible uh, to make sure that there's not, not like any wrinkles or imperfections on the puppet. Um, so yeah. Oh. I've never done this. Um, I hope I know what I'm doing. So yeah, wish me luck. Um, I think that went quite as planned, quite well. Um, so I have my pattern here. It's quite rough, so I'm just going to go over it with a. With a There's a sharpie somewhere here, so I'm just going to go over with that. And then I'm going to cut it out and just try to put it on um, my puppet. See if everything is working quite well. And if it is, I'm going to go straight ahead on my other, other um, fabric, it's grey. Go on there, draw it, cut it out and um, start sewing. So I won't have enough time 
to finish the puppet. Um, I have some family things to do. So I am going to take my template, put on the other um, material and just copy it, cut it out. And um, if I have enough time, I'll get someone to help me to make a knot and a thread for the needle because I knew I'd need a double thread to uh, sew the next parts together. So if I have enough time, um, so a major, yeah, this, let me just take this, yeah. So if the puppet's like this, um, these, this part that wraps, helps the, to wrap around the head like this, it's supposed to be sewed together. So there's one of them over here, like at the top of his head, like here, and then at the bottom of his jaw. So just a little one. So if if I have enough time, I'll do that, and then tomorrow I'll come back and sew the two templates that I've that cut up, sew them together. And then there will be a mouthpiece, so there will be double, and I'll need to cut cut out. Um, where's my template? I have a mouth template somewhere. Um, I have to take that and cut it out with this this pink to form the inside of the mouth, um, and just sew that to the two grey materials to finish my puppet. And then lastly, I'll need to make a neck for the, my um, ostrich and put some feathers at the bottom to so uh, make it a bit more lifelike. So yeah, today I'm, I'm just going to try and finish the two, the two sides before sewing them together. Sorry if this word a bit ranting, I uh, just exercised so I'm a bit tired and uh, not all here. Hi, so it's a new day. Yesterday I wasn't able to do any sewing, um, but I was able to work far enough that I'll have to that I can start with sewing today. So yesterday was just a hectic day, and I was so tired, so I wasn't able to go on. Um, today, unfortunately, I won't be able to work as much um, because we have family time, and then later today, um, my entire family is going to take part in a quiz against my my brother's family my brother's girlfriend's family um, so yeah that that's been uh, in motion for like two weeks but yeah I'm gonna try my best today so today I'm gonna start with sewing these little triangles shut like this one on the head to just make a nice rounded surface. Um, I'm just gonna go ask my mom how to do it because I have no idea how to make a double thread needle. Um, and after that's done, I'm going to sew the two halves together and f that will be followed by creating a mouth. I found the, the mouth plate, plate by the way. Um, creating the mouth and sewing that to the, the puppet. So yeah, um, wish me luck. Hi, so it's family time now, so I'll have to stop. So I finished, finished most of it. So this is the top part, the mouth. I went right around to the back of the head, yeah, close to the, the neck. Um, I accidentally forgot to download a part or a um, film when I was stitching up 
these parts and uh, because of that uh, yeah I can't show you it um, but I'm actually very glad that happened because uh, brilliant me actually stitched um, my puppet's mouth shut in part of ink um, yeah I stitched the mouth shut instead of uh, doing this top part of the head um, but yeah I'm gonna go have some family time and when I'm finished I'll carry on working hi so family time is over I just had lunch so I'm gonna start um, firstly I realized that um, I was starting to sew the neck shut so I would just have a stuffed puppet head or not even stuffed because I wouldn't be able to get the stuffing in um, so I'm just gonna do undo a few stitches um, yeah and then just sew a few times over the last stitches just making sure it doesn't unravel and then I'll start sewing from the other side sew up and uh, then I'll have to put on the head and put it over the head and I hope, hope it works. my head and the mouth of my pup together I pulled it over the headpiece and its next step would be creating the neck I created the neck to fit underneath the cover of the head for a more seamless transition The last thing I did this week was cutting out two little men shaking hands to create the shadow puppets.
thank you very much for joining me on my second vlog the next vlog i'll be creating the stage